Dr. Kenny Grushala is a scientific visualization researcher here at NREL, and he is an expert in immersive scientific visualization. Also a really awesome dude. <laughs> he only likes dark beer. <laughs> Kenny is basically our fearless leader. Kenny's quiet intensity really is him having a lot of uh, inner dialogue, I think. There's a lot of stuff going on internally, and then you get the one little sentence out, but it's a, it's a good sentence. Kenny is, is one of the preeminent researchers in immersive visualization. I think his master's thesis was one of the seminal papers on immersive visualization, the work that we do here in the cave. How do we want to characterize Christy? She, she's the big name of the lab. Nicholas and I are the introverted ones. Christy is the extroverted one. Her claim to fame is uncertainty visualization. It's definitely uh, certain that uncertainty is very important. You know, there's uncertainty throughout our data, whether that data be measured um, or simulated. And she's thought deeply and, and done a lot of work in the space of trying to understand how you can visualize that uncertainty. It's too often in a visualization, you're, you're given a number, but that number is not real. That number is fuzzy. And what Christy has been working toward is, you know, throughout different types of visualizations, how you represent that fuzziness. That way you can make better decisions. She lives in this fuzzy world. Nicholas Brunhart Lupo, he's a research scientist in uh, the visualization team. His official title is Cave Troll. He is kind of the primary manager of kind of the cave space, of the immersive space. Nicholas's happy place is C++, C++ and OpenGL. That's kind of where he loves to live. I think the first thing everybody needs to know is that Nicholas is single, so it's all the ladies out there. The primary thing you should know is that he is not the cave troll that he claims to be. And the stuff that he's doing in this cave is very impressive. He's, I haven't seen a whole lot of other people doing the kinds of stuff that he's doing in, at this level. And the way we describe Nicholas is he's, he's kind of like Batman. So he's an OpenGL programmer by day, he's a Vulcan programmer by night. I would bet he speaks Klingon. <laughs> <laughs>